could not be broken. The story of a dog in Alaska begins here. Signed by Jack London to his wife. At Utah State Special Collections. Home to some of Jack London's letters, his will, and a complete set of first edition novels. Jack London started his career trying to publish socialist material, but when that wasn't successful, he wrote this. It was really Call of the Wild that made him the author that, that everyone knows. The Call of the Wild was first published in five installments in the Saturday Evening Post magazine before it became a novel. When I was a kid, I, wrote, I read Jack London, right? And that's what it seemed like every boy my age was reading Jack London and, and loved the books. And so it's neat to work you know, in a place where they actually have, you know, some of his original correspondence and the first edition books that he signed. In USU's collection, all of London's first edition novels have a picture of London glued on the inside cover and are inscribed to his wife Charmian. Over time, the picture's chemicals got on the opposite page, creating a shadow effect. USU has the second largest collection of Jack London in the country. It helps answer the questions. What was he thinking when he wrote these things? What's, what's the behind the scenes story of these novels? And so that's partly why we collect. From a 100 year old book to a new movie, special collections can help you find the backstory behind the big movie.